In this video, I am going to attempt to customize toilet seats to make the experience of expulsion more immersive and enchanting than ever before. So first things first, we need our canvases. I'm gonna customize multiple toilets in this video and we're gonna start by following a Bob Ross video because let's face it, there would be nothing more soothing and welcoming than walking into a bathroom and seeing- Your dreams come real here. I mean. And this is perfect because we can split our piece between the view and the top half of the lid. So, just so you open it up and you see the vista and the uh, earthier, more grounded section of the toilet, which is where of course you sit. And so this first creation will follow along with a Bob Ross hour long special, one of the special ones for a special experience. The piece is entitled The Grandeur of Summer and I chose this mainly because of how epic it is, but also how it divides between the top and the bottom halves. And we're starting of course with the sky section to create the beginning of our enchanting view. So far I'm following along okay, but let's just say I'm really feeling that toilet seats are not usually meant to be used as canvases. And I think this next bit is where I'm most going to start to feel that. So I need to put the mountain down, but I'm using a palette knife which is flat and the curvature of all the areas of the toilet seat are making painting pretty hard. I can't get an even flat colour because some of the rounded curves pick up more paint and concave bits don't pick up enough. I have no idea if a flat palette knife is gonna actually give me an even looking mountain. Some of it's putting down really thick and some of it I'm just scraping paint off. Switching to a smaller palette knife to see if I have a little more flatness and control. Not really, it's, it's really hard because I'm trying to go flat and there's something stopping me. So I have to angle in to the inside of the, uh, the lid. All right, let's keep going. Palette knife stuff was a little touch and go, but in the end I actually got something that wasn't too bad. So then it's back to the brushwork, and aside from looking a little streaky, just because porcelain isn't as smooth to work with as a canvas, it's actually kind of working. Come in. Oh, hey, Murray. Hi. Um, when are you going to be done with the toilet seat? Do you need a toilet seat? I do. I do do. Okay, not a happy little pee then. Um, mm. Shouldn't be too much longer. Can you hold it? I guess. Great, thanks Mari. Oh. Appreciate it. I have to fess up, like this has been done before. There are YouTubers like Chloe Rose who have customized toilet seats and it just seems dumb and fun and I want to give it a go. Can you follow Bob Ross on a toilet seat? The answer is it's not super convenient, but yes. I wonder what else you can follow Bob Ross on. Is that a video? Let me know in the comments. Give me a ton of random suggestions of objects or things or people that you want to see me paint Bob Ross on. But anyways, we're back to finishing this. I've done the top half. I now need to move on to the bottom half, all the reflections and the details in the foreground of the trees, but it's actually working. Not only is it actually working, it's looking good as a thing, like as a, something I should have done as opposed to shouldn't have done. I would not have bet on that at the start of this project. I just thought it'd be fun to try for the meme of it and yet I actually am producing something I'm going to be proud to put on a toilet. That is not something that I have actually ever said in my life. <laughs> example of what contemporary toilet seats could look like, I think it should be its own medium. So I'm going to start putting my exhibition together and I'm not going to stop here. We've done a gorgeous realistic landscape. We're also going to get a bit modern and stylistic, but let's start setting up our exhibition. Now the location for my exhibition, of course, is the company toilets. With the stalls open, you'll be able to see two completely unique artworks and people will eventually choose the toilet they enter based on the artwork that 
pulls them in, that inspires them to use, to, well, you know what toilets are for, but anyway. My exhibition is not done yet. I have another toilet seat to complete. I have to close off access to the toilet to make sure no surprises are spoiled so I can complete the setup of my whole exhibition for people to enjoy. Toilet number two is gonna be done using the materials from my Customize It kit, available now at customizeitkit.com. My Customize It kit comes complete with over $200 worth of epic art supplies and all sorts of practical and playful inclusions that you can customize. From the pencil case, infinity cube, tumbler, sunglasses, and case, custom finger skateboards, using the included paint, pens, varnish, gesso primer, and of course, with the help of the handy guide that's included Included a 40 page extravaganza taking you through not only how to customize anything, but also providing a huge amount of custom patterns that we take you through the creation of to show you how you can make your own custom pieces. So if you want to get yourself or a loved one the gift of custom creativity, go to customizerkit.com and be one of the first 500 orders so you can get yours under a Christmas tree in time for the holidays. The first 500 orders are shipping out now and will arrive before Christmas. But if you miss that boat, don't worry, we are having free shipping up until the end of the year. So don't miss out. That's a huge savings on shipping alone, let alone the huge value in the customized ed kit. I'm gonna be customizing my toilet seat here today. I've also customized one of the drink bottles that I use all the time here in the studio, as well as the included sketchbook and the sunglasses. There's a lot of fun to be had in and outside of the box. So go check it out. And of course, it's a huge support to the channel and your creative fun. So in getting started on my second toilet seat, it's just a matter of preparing the surface with a gentle sand of a really fine grit sandpaper that just roughens the texture of the surface enough very subtly just to be able to grab that acrylic paint. I map out my design for this one, which is gonna be a little bit different to the Bob Ross design. We went calm and harmonious and welcoming. This time, let's make the toilet seat people are gonna be terrified to sit on. And with my horrific monster design in place, it's time to get started with my paint pens. Using paint pens is just like drawing with any markers, except it's acrylic paint that you're using, which not only means that it goes down nice and smooth and gets that great paint quality, but it's also mixable and blendable. In this case, I'm putting down sort of red around the outer areas of the edges of the teeth, but otherwise mainly laying down the pink of the gums and then just blending into that red to create a bit of an unsettling spillover that just looks really unnerving. Now it's on to the rest of the monster. Using a yellow for the shadow areas of the teeth that they look nice and unappealing. You don't want bright whites, you want something decaying that looks infected so that if it bites you, you know you're in trouble. And then on to the face. Filling in the shadow areas with my gray, but keeping it so that the porcelain white of the toilet seat is the skin color of this monster. Now it's on to my favorite bit, the final details. Filling in the blacks of the eyes, which mind you, I think choosing to do this amount of eyes was a really good choice because, you know, if you're sitting and facing away from the eyes, you're just thinking about the teeth on your butt. Let's say if you're using the toilet standing up facing in, you're gonna feel watched and judged with 12 beady black eyes of varying gross sizes staring at you. Last but not least, the line work. All this paint pen customization stuff always looks that little bit messy or unfinished right up until this stage. That's totally normal. And these outlines, whether it be of black or different colors that you use, just bring it all together, make it all look super polished, a bit cartoony and really fun.
This is such a dumb customization project, but I love how it's come along. And I wanna see what you could do if you get as wildly creative, which is why I'm hosting a competition with an awesome prize on the line, this custom Zelda themed limited edition Nintendo Switch OLED. Our top winner who uses the customized kit to make something awesome or weird or wonderful will win this. You have until the end of March, just follow the instructions in the description and I can't wait to see what weird and wonderful things you guys come up with because uh, you can customize anything into whatever you want even if you shouldn't. I think it's time to epic reveal this thing in context. So after much anticipation, I am very excited to declare my art exhibition open. Who's excited? Oh, I'm so excited. Now remember, it's just for appreciation. Oh, I'll appreciate it. Don't use it. Ah, uh, Vaughn, uh, do you want to check out my new exhibition? Murray, what do you think? Oh, exhibition? it was amazing. I loved it. You, you didn't use it or anything, did you? Because all your paint takes ages to dry and it's still wet. 